Hi, this is Rick Cogley, and I'm going to show you um, a little bit about Draw.io's new Layers feature, which is uh, quite a fantastic addition. Um, but first, after we access Drive Draw.io, which is the uh, real-time version with uh, the Google real-time technology, we have to make sure we're connected with Google Drive, so we click that. Of course, we're already logged in on this browser to a particular Google account, which has Drive enabled, and it connects. So you'll see that uh, there's a little bit of flashing and uh, grinding away, but it will eventually connect, and you'll see a chat window come up. So um, that means that you're ready to go. So um, I can show you a couple of things first. For instance, um, what we want to be talking about is the layers function. So um, it starts with a background layer, for instance, for a logo. So we could add other layers to it, like a floor plan or some kind of a pasted in diagram like that. And then on top of that, maybe some annotations. So um, let's start there. Let's add a logo. So we can start um, with a particular image and we can use the image um, button on the toolbar and we can do some uh, Google image search or various things like that to uh, choose our image but in this case what I want to do is I want to actually use an SVG that I have saved so if I look at my um, format style format style um, I can paste in uh, a style that says the shape is an image, the image is, is at a particular URL, and I've got my logos uh, stored on in, in SVG vector format up there, very smooth format on the screen. Um, and you can see there's a couple of settings, um, resizable zero, movable zero, and rotatable zero. So if I select that, you'll see, for instance, that I can't um, enlarge it, and that's because it's locked, so I can unlock it and then resize it without a problem. It's also got the word image in the middle of it, so I will delete that. Um, but let's prove it. Let's take a look at uh, format style again. And you can see here the, you know, it's, it's now resizable one, movable one, rotatable one. Darn it. <laughs> that's a bug. Um, anyway, let's uh, paste that back. Okay. All right. And um, so we've got we've got this. I'm gonna control lock, control L to unlock it, so I can move it around a little bit, resize it a little bit. There we go. Okay. So um, now I've got my logo in the back uh, layer, the background default layer. I'm gonna add a layer. And uh, the interface is simple. Um, we've basically just got an arrange layers menu now, and, and you know it's pretty intuitive actually. But uh, it's you know there's no buttons or you know visual indicators that uh, that you have all these layers. So um, you know to some it might be a little confusing, but at least the function's there. So I'm very happy to have it. So uh, for instance, what we can do is rename this layer to, um, for instance, floor plan. <clears throat> And we are on that layer now. You can see, right? The checkbox is, or check mark is by uh, floor plan, so we're on it. We can then add our uh, floor plan. Well, normally I would add a, uh, some kind of an image, but anyway, just for the sake of brevity, let's just add a pretend floor plan and call it floor plan like this. So now if I go into my layers, I can actually hide floor plan. It disappears. Okay. And if I just select floor plan again, it comes up. And I'm going to lock this because I've got it in the right position. So I kind of eye it and make it uh, go into the right position on here. So then I will control L to lock it. Okay. So now it won't move around. But now what I want is I want to do some annotations. So I'm going to add another layer. 
I'm going to rename it as annotations. Okay. And I'm going to add a rounded rectangle. And I'm going to give it some color. Make the line white. And give it some shadow. So now it looks like a bit of a call out. Um, and I'm going to type some text in it. But of course, the text is black on red. doesn't look very good, so we'll change the color of the text to white. There we go. So now I have an annotation. I could add, for instance, a line on there, or I could, uh, you know, like a pointer, um, like you might typically see with a, uh, a kind of a, you know, um, a balloon call out, for instance, that you might see in, in um, Word or PowerPoint or some other desktop software like that. But anyway, um, now we've got our layers. We could export this without the annotations, for instance, by um, simply hiding annotations and then doing the export. So that's a very nice feature. We have a way to put our logo in. We have a way to, for instance, put the address there next to the logo um, if we want. Um, we have a way to have multiple layers, which keeps the, um, the complexity down, um, and it makes it easier to build a little bit more complex diagrams. It's a fantastic addition, um, and I want to thank JGraph uh, for doing this. It's very helpful. Hopefully someday we'll also have multiple canvases per diagram, for, per save diagram, so that, for instance, we'll have tabs, you know, um, and we can have multiple uh, linked or related uh, canvases that um, are kind of saved as as a set. So um, if if on a project we have a floor plan, we have a let's say um, a rack diagram, we have uh, some other kind of a system diagram, logical diagram, or whatever. If you're um, an IT company like us, um, this is very useful. Right now we have to make multiple diagrams, but that's okay. It's a really nice uh, product. And uh, just wanted to show you all a little bit about this new uh, layers feature. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.